Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome back to Caesar 3 and we are here on the 10th assignment, Sarmi Zegatusa. Now, in this mission, we're gonna be doing flower block designs inspired by MikaFex, who might be in chat right now. But uh, MikaFex, thank you for suggesting and showing me some interesting flower block designs, which we're gonna try out on Sarmi Zegatusa. And this is one of my favorite maps because the map design is so, so interesting. Anyway, let's get started and see what this map's all about. The Roman Empire now includes nearly every habitable land in the world, except for the darkest forests of Germania and Dacia. That is where you're going next. Build a medium city in the enemy's heartland. You will meet stiff resistance from local tribes, the most noteworthy being the Goths. Build the appropriate defenses and defeat them time after time, until they either learn to leave you alone or extinguish themselves trying to harm your city. In the meantime, we are taking the fight to them. They have crossed our border and terrorized our citizens for the last time. The province itself is large and reasonably rich in resources. Native villages already occupy some of the best land, but you know how to deal with them. Your legions will have plenty of chances to exercise their sword arms, but there is nothing that should prevent your success in Sarmizegatusa. Ah, yes, Sarmizegatusa, the hinterland. So, looking at this, we've got 6,000 population, 50, 50, 60, 55, so nothing too crazy there, especially not after Londinium. So, let's go ahead and go to the city. All right, now let's make sure the game slowed down. Let's just pause it and get the music going. Welcome, welcome. Now, if you follow me on Twitch, you'll recognize these cliffs right here. These cliffs are where I designed one of my favorite cities. One of my favorite... Uh, it's basically uh, what I did in my original playthrough. I fixed it up and made it my, my Twitter header. <laughs> and it looks really, really nice. It, it, this, this map just... I don't know, it just looks very interesting and pretty to me. It's it's rugged, but very functional. It's not quite like Lugdunum. <laughs> so, uh, now the issue here is we've got the immigration glitch to go through. And as the rule, I can't lower the difficulty to get past it. And we've got, I think, that's three, three packs of wolves. Uh, there might be another one. Four packs of wolves, four packs of wolves. So it's very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Uh, let us do the usual. Now we are doing flower blocks, so I'm gonna start with a very, very simple row of houses here. We're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need seven two by twos, an engineer's post, and we're gonna break this road here. And I'm gonna need a barracks immediately. We're gonna need a javelin fort immediately, which I guess I will just stick right there. Um, you know, I'm gonna tuck it a bit further away. Yeah, javelin fort right there. Don't worry, we're gonna now also get three temples, Mercury, Mars, Yeah, Mars and Venus. Now we don't need Ceres or Neptune because we don't have farms or water. Now, we also need to put down some wells. Uh, just... That should cover all the houses, I think. It should. And we probably need to just plaza up that road a bit to make sure those houses evolve, yeah? Now, besides that, let's look at our exports. We've got Mediolanum for weapons and furniture, and we have Athene for wheat and meat. Now, nicely, this is all gonna be uh, land trade routes. Two shields on the furniture, one shield on the weapon, so we could get a nice furniture industry going. I'm gonna have a warehouse right here. To accept just 
furniture. Now I know this doesn't look like a flower quite yet, but don't worry, we're gonna get there. And then I'm gonna have workshop, and we're gonna have one, two... You know, I'm gonna do something a little less efficient, but more more flower-like. I'm gonna have a road coming out this way and have two timber yards right here because flowers tend to have stems and this is gonna expand out and this is where I draw a very simple flower. Uh, let's just... That doesn't look like a flower. I just need something here. Ooh, it could very easily be something like this. How did I get that wrong? Flower. Not as efficient, but it'll work, it'll work. Let's just hope nothing collapses, right? Let's hope nothing collapses. To be fair, I probably should have moved some of the houses over this side, but for stability. Should I bother doing that? You know, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna shift one of these houses over. I'm just gonna garden that. Okay. Yeah, that'll be fine. So now let's speed up. Now this number of houses, this number of houses is going to uh, become just under 200 people. Now we might need a few gardens here if these houses don't evolve because of these workshops. But it should be fine, it should be fine. So if the engineer walks this way, I will cover everything. We just need the engineer to walk down this way once in a while. Ah, okay. Neptune's blessing is good. It doubles the money earned by trade. Uh, yeah, but we're not doing that yet. We're not doing that yet. We're just going to get these javelins going. Now, after this, we've got to think of... Uh, you know... I'm just going to have another engineer's post. That's fine. Uh, we got to think of setting up another block the furthest away possible. So forcing the immigrants to walk through these cliffs and stuff is probably going to be a good idea. Are these wolves coming to attack me? I'm not sure. But I'm probably going to have to do a bit of a well maze. I'm going to block that off. I'm going to block that off. And then we'll block here. So no immigrants can walk there. I'm going to force them to walk up this way. Please don't attack us right now. That would be bad. Population's at 165. That's good. Oh, you can pass through there? block that. Um, immigrants can walk down this way. So I should probably block this off too. Just make sure immigrants don't go that way at all. So this will force the immigrants up this way, round this way, and then down to this side where I will draw a block and get past the immigration village. Some wood is coming through. Okay, with this amount of housing, this amount of population, and all of that, it should be good. Let's drop taxes down to zero for now. Javelin's coming in. Once we have enough, we'll go around wiping out the wolves, right? Get a tower to protect the plebs. I maybe should. Maybe should. I think it's okay. As long as the... The wolves don't come this way. Now, did a house not evolve? We should have a bit more population. Maybe this guy. Yeah. Dandelion? Yeah, this kind of dan dandelion block. Dandelion block. <laughs> it's got a little stem right there. 
you know, and everything. Okay. So once furniture starts coming in, which we have four functioning workshops now, we will be able to start selling the furniture. We should get one more immigrant. Yeah, there we go. Oh, also, while we're right here, let's hold a festival to Mars. Get one of those Mars blessings for that first invasion. Hmm. Did I mention both available trade routes? Yes. Does cactus count as a flower? Well, no, but a cactus flower does. Fairby says, if you have to, I wouldn't think it's cheating if you build a wall to block your city off from the wolves so they can roam freely but not get to your city. Yeah, but walls are expensive and, you know, we got to get past the immigration glitch anyway. So we have to sort of kill the wolves because the immigrants are going to run through the map to the other side. So, you know, I'm not allowed to trap the wolves, but uh, we do have to kill them like, very quickly. So there's 196. We can't build another house because there'll be seven people pushing us over 200. So let's wait for the javelins to train up here. A bit of furniture has started to come in. Uh, should I just... Can we keep... We should be able to keep up with production here, right? I think some of the early employment issues... Oh, that's why they're dumping the timber in like that. I see. There's our first festival. So I'll open up the furniture trade route soon. We're just sort of waiting for a few more javelins here. I would like a full company. And with that much furniture in there, I think I can open the trade route. It only costs 750, so let's open that trade route and start selling furniture. Yeah. That will be good. This does have 10 employees here. Yeah. So another couple javelins will be good trade's gonna start up right here. We can expand the furniture industry a little bit. We can sell, uh, how much can we sell? 25, 25. So I do need like one more timber yard and one, like a couple more furniture workshops. Okay, there we go. Now we've got these running. And oh, oh, they're fighting the caravan. Okay, but now's the time to start killing wolves. You can kill the caravan, that's fine. Can we fight these guys, please? Shoot! There we go. Okay. I hate when they don't shoot. Mars Spirit, thank you. We do lose a few Javelineers here. But hopefully we could wipe out two groups. We're losing way too many troops to Wolves. Wolves are, wolves are good units, by the way. Okay, so that's one pack. Let's just throw these javelins into this next pack. Oh, one wolf is running off into the city? Why would you do that? No, 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 no. Stop, stop killing people. Okay. Let's return to fort to get... Oh, there's wolves right there. Oh, they can't quite kill that cat. Oh, look at that bug. I haven't seen that bug before. But let's, uh, very quickly... Oh, they just despawned. But there's still wolves there. What? Okay, they're on the move again. We have to kill these wolves, otherwise the pack starts to respawn. Come on, kill him. Okay. Okay, okay. So that should be two packs down, with two packs left on the map. Yeah, yeah. Two packs left here. Let's get a couple javelins back. And I suppose we could start drawing like another housing block. Now I'm gonna load up Design Sent to Me by MikaFX. And I think I will use this one right here. That's a nice, simple block design. Are these wolves coming for me? The packs are sort of split up. But did they start respawning? 
Oh, because those two wolves were separated. I think a pack started respawning, which is not good. These two. Okay, we gotta try wipe out these two groups right here. I'm trying to watch the map to see if there's any... That pack's there. Okay. okay, let's take care of these first. Let's take care of this pack. Stop running. They're like running away from me. <laughs> Come on. So there's a pack right there. Okay, they should be able to handle that. There's that pack. Is that the last pack then? After this one? Yes, yes. Okay. Money should be able to maintain with one export like that. Let's just deal with this. Wage increase, huh? By four? Okay. Okay. Let's return to fort and we're gonna draw our housing block over here. Now let's see. We're gonna, let's see, do something like this. Uh, we're just gonna have it like here. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it goes like two. And then it goes in like that. Like that. Like that. Is that correct? I think so. Don't mind that plane flying overhead. Now, wait. Are wolves killing something? Why is there a wolf here? Oh, wait, no, 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 no. You can't be respawning like that. Where, where are these wolves respawning? That pack is coming back. Wait, there's now two wolves here. Okay, now this pack is coming here. Do we have enough troops to take on this pack? I don't know, I don't know. Cool Blade just subscribed for four months in a row. Thank you so much, Cool Blade. Are they attacking? Sort of. Okay. Come on. No, no, no. Just, just fight me. Just fight me. Stop trying to kill that citizen. Could you spare a little I haven't eaten for so long. He's got priorities. <laughs> okay. So all the wolves, let me slow the game down. All the wolves should be dead. No more wolves on the map. Right? Okay. There's just so many wolves on this map. All right. But now this. Oh, I've done this a bit wrong. This should actually be like that. That's like that. That's actually the center right there. Okay. Did I do this wrong? You know, I'm actually terrible at following designs. <laughs> oh yeah, this should actually be like that. Once I get one side right, I'm generally a bit better. One, two, three. It should be like that. Wait, more wolves? Where? Come on! Who? Where? Was it the... the traitors? What? What? No, no, I told you to move. 
Did the wolf just spawn in? Why do they keep spawning right there? Where's the wolf? I can't see it. Wait, it ran away from me. Are they spawning like right here? Okay, just just stand there for a little bit. <laughs> While I slow the game down and actually draw a block over here, which I've been trying to do for a while now. Um, yeah, this should actually be there. This should shift over. This should shift over. So it's actually eight tiles, I see. It's eight tiles on that first one. So that is correct. Okay. So it's one, two, one, two. So it goes like that. And this is the center. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we go up, up. One, two, three. Right? One, two, three. One, two, three. And that is one side of the flower. I know it doesn't look like a flower yet, but it will. It will. <laughs> because then we just go up one here. One, two, three, four. We can do this. Is that too much? That's actually too much. It should be here. Just a little notch out. Like that. This flower's actually too big. We can't fit it. You know, flowers bend. Flowers bend. It's fine. We're just gonna keep this going. And is it the same this way? Wait, how did I get this wrong? This is just wrong. <laughs> Guys, do you see this? Wait. Did I? This is just totally wrong. This is just totally wrong. How did I mess this up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This should be here? How did I mess that up? Okay. Okay. It wasn't as wrong as I thought. It wasn't as wrong as I thought. But I bet you guys were a bit OCD then. It's okay. Then it goes one, two. How did I get that wrong? One, two, three. Oh, that's supposed to be there. Okay. Why am I so bad at this? I don't I don't know why I'm so bad at this. You know that that seems wrong as well. But you know, that's enough. That's enough for me to get this started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting houses down. <laughs> so let us start, we'll clear some space here. Make sure we don't accidentally block the way out of the city. We're gonna need all of this. And we're going to just do like a row of houses here. Now you want to place houses in sort of nearest to further. So we're gonna do that and we're just gonna keep this going here and we could have a row of houses there. So it sort of makes some kind of sense. And then these houses. Right? And that should be enough to get us through the immigration glitch, but I'm not too confident. Now this flower is gonna have to bend around here because the flower is squished. And I would love to fix this problem, which Ah, I see my mistake. This actually does that. And this continues down like that. That goes like that. And then this flower just squished up against the rock there. And then we do that. Okay. It's a flower, guys. It's just a little squished. It's a little squished. Uh, but then we're gonna... Fix that problem. 
so that it is a little bit symmetrical and put those houses there. Okay, so that should be enough houses. Now, immigrants are going to start pouring in. Now, I need to sort of, uh, you guys can go home. Need to sort of plan how they're going to go. They're going to walk up this way, but then halfway through, I want to break the well maze. So then the new immigrants spawn through. So how far is this? About a screen's distance? So when... Hmm. So we have like a screen's distance up to there and a screen's distance up to here. So when they're about here, I break here. So the new immigrants will then walk through this way instead of up that way. Yes. Okay. Now, to make sure this actually works, I'm just going to save right there and see if I can get this right. Okay? Okay? Have I checked native risks? Yeah, we shouldn't be... We shouldn't be too close to that. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. We're fine. So, once the immigrants are here, I break open the well maze. Right about... here. Slow that down. Okay. And then I break open... It should be there, right? I'm just doing the, the spacing in my head. I think so, yes. Break that open. Okay. So they're gonna continue on down this way, whereas newer immigrants are gonna walk straight, which should be a shorter path to that new flower block. Right. It should work. There we go. They split off there, while these guys continue to walk this way. Distant battle, okay. Money's a little short. Are we maxing? We, we shouldn't be... We've only sold nine this year? Jeez. That's kind of... We have enough workforce. But did I break it too late? Huh. I estimated wrongly. You know, I'm not gonna risk it. They can walk around again. The more of these immigrants that coincide, the better. Because we can see more immigrants are spawning. As soon as we cross 200... Oh, you can just walk right through? That's that's totally not fair. Damn it, that, that usually works. That usually works. Uh, which means I've got to break a house here. Because one guy slipped through. And that is going to start coinciding perfectly. Look at that. And then we break this open as soon as these houses make it down there. Look at that. We're just controlling the flow of immigrants. That one guy moved in. Okay. And then we break this open. And now we hope, hope against hope, that we make it to 300. <laughs> can I make weapons? Yes, I can make weapons here. Raw materials, iron mine, yes. So we cross 200 people. We're gonna need to spam some engineers posts around here. People disgruntled, yep. Whoa, we're already at 300? Really? Guys, I, I don't think I've ever been that efficient in terms of controlling immigration. Wow, okay. Uh, problem solved. We can now get rid of all of these wells. And that's how you get past the immigration glitch. I, I timed all the immigrants flowing in so well. 
that, yeah, they're upset now, they're upset now, but don't worry. Now that we crossed 300, it's gonna be fine. Which means, on this side, I can now expand this little dandelion arm. A little bit. Go raw materials. Uh, timber yard. Just sort of wrap that round there. Engineer's post right there. Workshop furniture. So we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I'll clear these houses soon. So the dandelion arm will not have that many houses. Let's just wait for this to move through and also make sure... See, people are now moving out. I've had enough of this place. <laughs> There's no work here. Yeah, yeah. People are disgruntled, but... Increasing their wages again. Another two. Okay. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight above what Rome pays. We should maintain above. Doctors? Oh, yes. We're gonna need, like, a doctor. Doctors are pretty efficient, actually. So let's just put... A single doctor in the middle of the city. City needs more workers. People are indifferent to you. Immigration can now restart. Yes. And I can destroy these houses. 400 people shot by 14 employees. Okay. I know this flower is a little squish, but have you ever seen a bouquet? Flowers squish up against each other all the time. Uh, guys, hope you're enjoying it. Uh, this is one of my favorite maps. And we're gonna just... You know, maybe I just have too many of these. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe I just get rid of that for now. That should be enough. After that, let's focus on getting some uh, weapons. But I'm going to try to save Mikafex's block designs for uh, housing blocks. Now we can uptrade by just pacifying these native meeting huts. Um, so actually, I guess we could just produce... There's a lot of native meeting huts. There's three? And all three are going to be able to trade. So I guess I could just do a weapon industry right here. Right? I do hope there's no invasions from right here. <laughs> Guys, do you think there's an invasion from right here? I really don't know. I would assume they come from there or here. But I don't know if invasions come from this side. If they do, this block is screwed. So perhaps, to be safe, I won't set up a weapon industry right there. There we go. Now we've got unemployment. Can I somehow extend the weapon industry out to here? Do dandelions have long leaves? I don't think so. How many weapons can we sell? Just one shield, right? Fifteen. It's a different kind of flower now. Because all I need to do... Wait, does that not count? Why does this not count as cliffs? Fine, fine, I'll, I'll do something else, I'll do something else. Invasions always come from the same location. I don't know. 
I guess I have to draw a new block, right? You know, I don't have to. Just for now. There. Weapon industry. And we can start just exporting that too. Good. We've got 600 people, unemployment of 11%. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks. But we're gonna max out our exports. And I guess I just start... Let's take mission post. Let's start pacifying these natives. And if I just put... mission post right here and control the flow you think we could hit all the houses with one mission post risks He totally does not walk far enough. <laughs> They're already sending out traders. Okay. Risks, native. Why isn't he clearing off this stuff? He's literally walking right next to that. Oh, he's not getting far in... Wait, as soon as we pacify any house, they start trading? Dennis the Elder? Alright, well, that's fine. I thought you had to pacify the native meeting hut. But okay, they're pacified. Cleaned up your roads a bit too. Broke some as well. <laughs> Alright. Uh, furniture is going to start streaming in here. We can now get rid of that house, get rid of those houses. I can boost up my timber yard furniture workshop. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Kick some people out. They're just gonna move back in, I think. Employees needed. Shot by 12, that's fine. We haven't even watered this this flower here. Hmm. Hinfu says dandelions have long leaves. Pick dandelions. Oh, nice, nice. Maybe force walkers could help? Probably, probably. Anything collapsing? I think we're okay. That should be enough engineer's posts, right? We probably should get a temple to... Series and Neptune. Just to avoid any <coughs> weird curses. <laughs> They're not happy. They're not happy. Well, money's starting to come in now. I'd like to put down a military academy. Series destroys crops. That's fine. Clear this off. And put. Military Academy right here. We haven't gone into debt once. I just realized we can totally go into debt. Get, get the money. But we didn't go into debt. I don't know if there's any saving money, sa saving funds on this, but okay. <laughs> anyway, the dandelion block is now a powerhouse for furniture. Uh, everything should be close enough. And we're now selling all of that. Weapons are going to start coming in as well. I think these natives start buying those too. Yeah, probably. So we can just, with the native traders, we can... Enemies closing. I could just put down a few mission posts. I do that. Could I at least... Get 
at that. Ah, good. That should activate one more native trader. The more native traders going around, just the more stuff we can sell. That that curse always surprises me. It's the it's the loud lightning. Oh, all our ships are sunk, guys. I think we lost the game. <laughs> uh, have I saved? Oh, you guys are saying save. Yeah, I probably should save. Uh, let's just do that. Let's just pacify this village while we're at it. And yeah. That. Oh, they bought weapons, then we've got traders bouncing back and forth between these two trading posts. <laughs> We're just gonna have so many traders all over, all over the map. Um, this should... Oh, do we only get one native trader? Or can we get multiple? I don't know. I don't actually know. But I'm gonna keep them all pacified anyway. But the city is shot by 33 employees. Which means... We need to get some fountains. Can I stick a reservoir right here in the middle? Oh, that would that would actually be pretty cool. If we get a reservoir stuck in the middle. Oh, that would that would be so nice. And then we just move this doctor over one tile, and then we have an aqueduct that comes out through here. Does this? Okay. We can just have there, guys. <laughs> This is actually pretty nice. Uh, okay, that's pretty effective. Yeah, I'm gonna need Two. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Move that over. Okay. And we just haven't covered here. That covers all the houses except for those two in the middle, which can die. <laughs> ah, okay, that worked. That evolved a bunch of houses, which should... Short by 73? Okay. We need more houses then. Or at least just to get these evolved. I guess I start plaza some of these roads up. Right? That should help. Okay, okay. Eventually we just need to plaza everything, so we'll get that started. There we go, we're now watered that. Hmm. I should defend this block, it's an invasion point. Uh, yeah, I sort of figured that it might be an invasion point. are not academy trained. You know, let's go into debt. I'm gonna go javelins. Oh, we immediately got out of debt. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Um, probably... Can I get any weapons here? Hmm. 
don't think we're producing enough weapons to actually send over there. I have to move the barracks. And that will solve that problem. Okay. Then we can get some weapons in the barracks and start training up some legionnaires. Now, if this is an invasion point... Like, if it's down there, we might be able to sort it. Otherwise, we're gonna have to cut a petal off this flower. First invasion might uh, might wreck us a bit, so we probably should start drawing another flower block. So let's open up Mika Fax's designs here, yeah? and let's see. Well, that's a pretty cool one. This one could work. Okay, let's draw another flower. Right here should do. Yeah, I'm gonna clear this off. And we're going to have the stem extend out through here. Okay. Might need to be a bit shorter than that. And then... Yes. So it's got like a little base like this. Okay, and then it has tiles of three, like this. Why is that wrong? Ah. Got it. And then we go... So this is not the best map to draw... ...flowers, because we're a little cramped for space, but... ...we can still do a little bit... ...sort of things here. You know, we can just make it symmetrical. And we could round the corners around this side. So just slightly modified from Mika Fex's design. Flower. <laughs> and Mika Fex did also draw a little leaf. Oh, we've got a thousand citizens. Leaves are just sort of random little shapes here. There's the next flower. Okay. Don't know what kind of flower that is. I don't know. It's uh, it's something. Probably should soften that as well. I know it looks too wide for some reason. It looks too wide. Um, if I just cut it off on the ends. Yeah, that that, that actually looks better. All right. So now, uh, we're gonna need to do something. And now, how do I wanna fill these? Let's, uh, let's try to be a little efficient. We're gonna have that. We could just actually line the stem with houses. And have plenty of engineers' posts. 
because we're going to need them. Good. <laughs> uh, have I got multiplayer battle rooms working? No, not yet, not yet. All right, there's another flower block. We're gonna need to bring in these people because uh, we might lose some stuff. We might lose some stuff. But we're starting to get some troops in. Now, I do want to get legionnaires. Oh, I didn't destroy this. I do want to get legionnaires. I think I can just stick them right here for legionnaires. And furniture. Okay. Legionaries. Which I can just stick here because I'm not going to be building anything here. And they'll be more to the center of the map so they could respond more easily. Yeah. And we'll, we'll go into debt for the first time. Actually, no. Try to make these new funds last longer. All right. Uh, we got a bit of funds. We got a bit of funds. Uh, we're gonna have two forts of javelins, and maybe we'll get a couple legionnaires there. Then we'll stick another couple javelins over on this side of the map. We'll see where they come from. But just in case things do go awry. Yeah, one fort is not academy trained. That should be enough engineers to make sure nothing collapses. Yeah. Money's streaming in, so we'll have plenty of ability to do whatever we like. Now, I do need to think of a flower block design for palaces. Not entirely sure how I'm gonna do that. Or what kind of flower block we need for palaces. You know, there's a few options. Um, something a little simpler is always good. But I'll think of that. I'll think of that. Uh, the Zach Pa emote being used. A symbol of debt. Now, we should have 20% unemployment. Jeez, that's... Uh, I think we're keeping up with... Oh no, we do get another trader. Look at that. Douglas. Douglas is trading from there. So we do get two traders. So with the unemployment, I guess I just activate another... Oh, there's those indigenous people. Where do they come from? Here? Really? No. 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 Okay. <laughs> Well, they, they attack right there. Alright, well, let's get some of these guys killed so they become uh, academy trained. And if I can kill these guys fast enough, I can save my Mars blessing. Yes. Did anyone die? No one died. Guys, we were too good. We were too good. That's fine. Mission post. Does that cover everything? Risks native. Ooh, that's annoying. <laughs> hmm. If I shorten this, it might work. He just has to touch the tile, right? Are you serious? Oh, it worked. It worked. Okay, we've pacified all natives on the map. 
that's good. First invasion, easy. Do I have enough? How many months to comply? 32 months. Let's just dispatch it now, it's fine. It's fine. Money's not too much of an issue. Troops coming in, uh, legionnaires being trained. So that's gonna up the amount of trading. Simon the Terrifying. Wait, you're already walking up this way? Were they already trading? No. Oh well. Now. Is that enemy invasion close? Yeah, it's almost here. So that wasn't the first invasion. We're gonna see how... Uh, how we deal with it. Invasions coming from here is a bit annoying. I don't know if we'll be able to mitigate that at all. Hmm. Probably should just have javelins over this side. Wages increased again? By four? Jeez. You know, let's up taxes just for now. Probably should just tax people, right? Just because, for now. It's not gonna earn much, but might as well. <laughs> all right, but I'm happy that we've pacified all the natives. Uh, do we get... Are more javelins coming or is our weapon supply actually keeping up? Actually keeping up. We're short three javelins there. But I do need probably another legionary fort here. Do I put it down now? I, I really shouldn't. I really shouldn't. You can't build farms on this map? Yeah, you can. Wheat, vegetables, vines, pigs. Plenty of farmland. I'm just not doing it yet. Money isn't really a problem, let's raise taxes and tax the people. Yeah, yeah that's pretty much. Might as well, right? You guys are buying, but I don't know if we're actually maxing out exports. Probably not, actually. The natives are actually buying a lot of stuff. The natives are actually buying a lot of stuff. It's making it difficult to keep up with supplies. So yeah, all the natives are pacified. Okay. Another, look, like two wage increases in a year by another one, okay. Set up furniture industry near the natives. Yeah, probably should do that. Probably should do that. I'm just keeping things centralized for now, but uh, we probably want to set up, like, separate industries just to sell to the natives. That's probably what we have to do. Unemployment of 18% is also not so good. Hmm. Yeah, get, like, furniture and weapon industry set up at each native camp. If we, if we need the money, anyway. Uh, we're currently a little short, but I think it should be fine. Look, look at these natives. I don't know how many they buy. They buy four? Okay. Oh, Ceres. Oh, if Ceres is... All the gods are angry. Guys, all the gods are angry. Ceres. Neptune. Mercury. Mars. Venus. Okay. All the gods are angry. Okay. Okay. That was close. Ceres was the one that was most unhappy, so that worked out. 
And I'm just gonna save up a bit of money because I expect some stuff to be destroyed. And if this is the standard invasion point, this flower might die. It might die. It's a little cramped there as well, so, you know, not sure if we can pull that off. But I kind of just want to wait for this invasion now. Now let's get the invasion dealt with. Uh, where is it? Enemies at the door. In August? June, July, August. Okay. Since it's almost time... Let's just bring these guys over here. Because we might need to engage them very quickly. <laughs> I don't know where they're coming from. If they come from over here, we should be fine. Fort Legionaries. I'm just going to get this down now. So they should actually invade in August, right? Right? No? I don't know, does it always happen to be like a year? God's happy. Where's this invasion? Okay, there we go, there we go. It was a month later, it was a month later. <laughs> All right, where? It's right here, it's right here. <laughs> oh, the small tent rubble, I'm sorry guys. Well, we lost the temple to Ceres. Let's fight them, and let's bring these guys over as well. I misclicked. Now we do have a blessing from Mars. Oh, they come with horses? Horse archers? Jeez, these goths. That did not help as much as I thought it would. That's so many! That's so many! I don't think I've ever heard that that horse noise. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, fix this problem. But I'm gonna save that for the next part because... Ooh, cliffhanger. Alright, <laughs> that's gonna be the end of this Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for joining. Uh, that was part one of Samizega Tusa with flower blocks, and unfortunately I built right next to the spawner. I didn't know they came from there, but it's gonna be... We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. We have the funds. We can do it. We can do it. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the button on the screen right now to bring you to the next part. Uh, and hopefully we do actually solve this invasion. It was bigger than I expected. Thank you all so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video.